Welcome to Pointwise's Tutorial Tuesday, where we show you how to use a feature or demonstrate a technique in just a couple of minutes. Today we're talking about the Pointwise Viewer. Typically we start a Tutorial Tuesday in the Pointwise GUI, but today I'm starting out on the desktop. When Pointwise installs, it usually does just one shortcut, but now there's two. There's the Pointwise Viewer and Pointwise 18.3R1. I'm going to start by clicking 18.3R1. You'll notice I didn't get a license, and I can now either choose to launch the license wizard or launch the viewer. The tutorial Tuesday is about the viewer, so I'm going to choose the viewer, but the important thing to note here is you do not need a license to use the viewer. With the viewer up, we now have this little pop-up window making sure that we know it's the viewer. Just in case you missed that, we've also got a watermark down here in the corner to remind you you're in the viewer. And some things are different when you're in the viewer as opposed to normal point-wise. All of our grid generation tools up here in the toolbar are turned off. Similarly, all of them will be turned off here in the menus. What is available is our open and import functions. I'm going to open a tutorial file. With this file open, I can now use all of the examine features. Maximum included angle, I can change it to component volume, if I want to look at smoothness, or even equal angle or centroid skew. These are all available. Not only does this work for .pw files, but it also works for any grid that you can import into Pointwise. Here are some of the examples of the file formats that you can import. If you don't see the file format you want here, we have a plugin SDK for file import as well. If you'd like to import a database file, that is also available. And here are those formats that we currently support. I'll put a couple links in the video description with more detailed information about our grid and database import capabilities. The great thing about the viewer is that you don't need a license to inspect and investigate and really dig into a mesh to find out its quality. If you like this video, be sure to click the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, drop us a line down below or connect with us on Twitter, which is linked in the description. Thank you all, and have a pleasant Tuesday.